Ilias, we're here at the kit sponsors evening. You've been at the club a number of years now. You're used to this activity and this event. How much do you enjoy meeting up with the supporters? I know it's something you, you pride yourself on getting to know fans, spending time with them. How much do you enjoy these nights? Well, first of all, it's been a lovely evening. And uh, again, thanks to everyone for setting this up and thanks for the sponsors for believing in the players. And then uh, speaking to the, to the, the fans, the sponsors, it's been an absolute pleasure. I mean, um, they put their hard-earned money into us, into this club, and they deserve to get a bit of feedback back from the players, from the manager. So, yeah, it's been a lovely evening. How supportive have they been? Because we all know it's been a, a challenging season, but the mood seems very good. Obviously, everyone's upbeat after the last couple of results. No, I mean, it's been a difficult season uh, for the players, for the fans, for everyone involved at the club. It's been a, a roller coaster season, like we said, and um, yeah, everyone is just mentally drained. I think um, it's a good time now with the two back-to-back -back wins. Everyone puts a smile on their face and comes, act like we've just done something incredible. But um, yeah, we just uh, it's just a lovely evening and uh, chat, chatting to them. They know we are humans at, at the end of the day, you know. So we care about this club as well, and uh, we're trying to put our best foot forward as they do as well and um, yeah we're just chopping it up and having a good time. You wear your heart on your sleeve, how difficult have you found it with the run we've been on and suddenly relegation was looking more and more possible? Yeah it was, um, it was stressful, stressful because it's not us the players, it's the people that work at QPR, the, the fans, everyone involved at the club that put every single day 100% into their work. Um, they are uncertain about their future because we're in a relegation battle um, and I mean it's been tough I mean it's been really tough and I feel I feel for us as players because we've been through a lot with, uh, with the whole change of managers and all of that stuff but at the end at the end of the day like I said before it's the players responsibility to put his best foot forward on the game and uh, and luckily we did that at the end and now we can just uh, on Monday we can just have a good uh, a good afternoon with the fans. How much did you enjoy getting across the line without having to worry about going into Bristol City and needing something? Well, if you heard our, if you heard our meetings, it was coming down to Bristol City, but luckily enough, we got them points before them. So, yeah, um, it was stressful, but I'm so delighted. I'm so happy that we got over the line now. Um, happy about the overall season? No, but happy that everyone can be in the championship next year and uh, and uh, and have another go at something special. Last game of the season on Monday afternoon. It's pretty much going to be a full house as well. So it's going to be great to end the season positively if we can after what has been, like you say, a roller coaster. Now I think that that's the that's the least that the fans deserve. We have to go and win on uh, on Monday. Sorry, we have to. I mean, I know the the game don't mean anything, but they deserve. Like you said, in a full house, they deserve to cheer, to, uh, to cheer the goals, to cheer the tackles, all of that stuff, to sing players' names and all that stuff. So, I mean, hopefully we have a great uh, Monday afternoon and we can all have a, a good holiday. Can we wrap the season up with an Ilias chair worldie? Oh, hopefully. It's up to the gaffer. It's up to the gaffer to, if, he wants, if he wants me to play. So, no, um, I hope so. I hope so. And um, hopefully we can get it done.